Hey guys, Peter Singh here. Welcome back to another how to video. And today I'll be showing you how to make an end crystal beam follow you around and heal you or give you regeneration or whatever. So um, I got this idea from a comment from um, Do Blog. So thank you for the idea. I actually looked at it and said, hmm, this this is a great idea. And um, I'm pretty sure no one done this before. And I sat here for two hours suffering on how to do it and I got down to about four command blocks. So what you need is cheats, of course, and you need yourself a command block, you need yourself a end crystal, and you need some obsidian. Oops, obsidian. So there you go. That's oh, and um, if you want, you can have some levers just in case. So before I show you how to do this, please subscribe. Um, Okay, yeah, that's all I was gonna say. I, I, I had nothing else planned. So you need four command blocks uh, We're gonna we're gonna build it here. So we're gonna start off I'm just gonna build it up like that, okay, and then Boom and then you can just design it to make it look like a tower or something, but I, I'm not into um designing so we have our end crystal then what I'm going to do is we're going to go to this top one and I'm going to show you how to do this command. Um, I may or may not forget to put this in the description so I, I rather show you how to do it now so you can modify it and make it however you want it to be or you can make it better but this is the best I can make it so you need three of them. Three of them are going to be exactly the same so you can copy this command so the first one is data um, modify what is it? Oh, I, I gotta look at my piece of paper because I already forgot. I did this like a week ago. So, D data modify entity at e open close square bracket inside. You want to put type equals end crystal, comma limit equal one. So this only this only does one end crystal. I'm pretty sure you can. Oh no, you can only do one. So if you want to do more, you have to add more command blocks. And then after that, you can put space beam target so capital B and a capital T then you put period and then capital X so this is the X coordinate and you're going to do set uh, from entity and this is going to be now you can do this two ways if you want to do this on a server and everyone can use it I recommend at P for the nearest player if you want to be the if you want to do it for only yourself then you can put yours but I'm just going to put at P and then you want to put Wait, no. Open close, oops, open close square bracket, and then here you want to put distance equals period period 100. Yeah, for some reason you need two periods here, so don't forget that. Then here at space P O position, I mean you, you just need to put, put P O S, and then one, I mean nope, not one, zero. So the zero is X, and that's all you need to do. So um, you can actually copy this with Control A or Command A, and then I mean to select it, you do Control A or Command A, depending where you want, and then you do Commands, Command C, Control C, and you press Done. Make sure you press Done. Don't press Cancel. And then the second command block, you go back, change X Beam Target X to Beam Target Capital Y, and change, oops, and change Position Zero to One. That's done, and then you go to the third one, you do it to Z, and change this to number 2. That's all done. Actually, you need to change all these to repeat. And if you want, you can turn it to always active, but I'm going to use a, I'm going to use a lever to do that. So now the last one, you just want to, you're going to make an a, a effect, so whatever you did for these last ones at P or yourself you just want to put at P again distance dot dot 100 now you can change the distance I only have it to 100 because the beam the end crystal beam only goes about a hundred blocks away and I'm pretty sure it can change depending on how far your your um, your render distance is. I'm pretty sure the higher it is the farther the beam can go but I haven't tried it and I'm pretty sure mine 100 is pretty much the best 
And then here I want to do regeneration for one second and uh, one um, for the modifiers, amplifiers one for one. So yeah, you can just you can all change that. This is all customizable. And then you just want to add. I mean, you can change it to all active or just run them all like that. And now, as you can see, well, there's two things happening. One, we're getting spammed in the console, and it is following us. Now, to get rid of all of this, you just easily can do game rule, um, command block output faults, and there you go. And now you got yourself a beam following you <laughs> and it's giving you regeneration too which is kinda cool so now you're basically the next ender dragon you can come slap all those people I mean this one you really can't whoever is the closest can get it but if you change this to um, your oops where is it if you change it to yourself then <laughs> you'll become the next ender dragon on your server now I recommend you you can do this on your server you might have to follow the server how the server works with the data command but other than that it works in single player and basically you're now the next ender dragon and if I go about a hundred blocks away everything stops the beam just stays there I couldn't I wasn't able to change it but once you come back in the distance you basically get reconnected to the beam and you're getting regeneration. You can change this how to whatever effect you want. The, I, I I actually like this. I if you if you compare this to a beacon, I feel like this looks cooler. It's like the beacon just shooting a beam up in the air, and you don't know who has the effect. But this one is telling you, like, oh, this player is getting the effect from the beacon. So you can make this look pretty nice, but I'm not going to. So yeah. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you for the comment. Um do vlogs and um, if you got any um, other cool ideas with these like anything I'll, I'll try my best to make it and this is the best I can do it's a little glitchy but that's that's how it is so yeah anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button down below if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button for more weird videos like this one hopefully um, I put the command in the description if um if I didn't you, you guys can yell at me so yeah anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video and bye guys